I once heard an 85 year old man say that he's had the same axe his entire life. He replaced the axe handle three times and the axe head twice. This was my dad's axe that he gave me as he wasn't using it as much later on in life. It's not necessarily the highest quality axe. I would guess that it was purchased at the local True Value hardware store probably 15 or 20 years ago. But it's an axe my dad gave me, so I wanted to replace the handle. For the first time in my life, I live in a place where the weather has a tendency to impact what I do on a daily basis. The term, making hay while the sun shines, has never meant so much. It might only be nine degrees outside, but when the sun is beating down on you, it doesn't really matter. I should be working on the electrical inside but I've got just a little bit left on the siding to finish. It'll make me feel better. It'll help me sleep better at night to have these last few little things buttoned up. I want to fix the back porch right here to where it fits and looks the same as the side of the addition. I also want to finish the end of the house. I've got all the materials here and ready to go. It's just going to take me a little while to slap everything together. While it is quite cold, there's no snow. The sun's out. It feels good to be outside. The 37 years I spent in Arizona, there might be a half dozen days a year that are directly affected by weather. Now that we've lived here in Idaho for a number of years, I can't handle the heat like I once could, but I've gotten to where the cold doesn't really bother me that much. I actually enjoy it. If the toes start getting cold, you move around. If the hands start getting cold, you try not to hit your fingers with a hammer. I keep a fire burning inside for obvious reasons. I take a few minutes throughout the day to sit down and get warm and just try and get these last few things finished. Now I've ran out of Tyvek, but I do have a little bit left of the roofing underlayment, so I thought I would use that basically the same stuff. One of the potential concerns with this tin siding is what happens if it gets wet directly. Now the horizontal piece of wood across the very bottom of the tin I took my skill saw and I cut vertical drain grooves directly in the wood so if in fact water did get behind it, it would have a place to go. But I will still silicone the front of the tin to the wood ensuring that even if water does get on it, it's going to have to work hard to get in there.
But the truth is the overhang is far enough away. And once I get the rain gutters installed, it would take a pretty significant sideways storm to get water up against it. I'm still toying with the idea of rubbing all of the tin down with the same Mesmer stain that I used on the house. Just because I accidentally got it on a couple of pieces and it kind of gives it a unique look. I'm going to take a piece of it, rub it down and let it dry out and have Cedar look it over. There's definitely some creative expression happening with this house. Obviously having the siding done and the corners trimmed out, it feels more complete and is ultimately less of a concern. I really like the way things are coming together. In the back of my head, I know I need to get back to the plumbing and electrical, but that is another couple of phases of construction that aren't quite as rewarding as doing what I'm doing now. But the electrical and plumbing have to get done. There's really not much plumbing left to do. I've got to run down and pick up the bathtub. I'll get that installed tomorrow. I then got to install a number of lights in the addition, light switches, outlets, and then it's time to call for an inspection. There's really not a ton left to do on the inside before drywall can be done. But I've got to get a few more things out of my head so I can focus on it. As I go back and forth between these different phases of construction, it seems like it takes my brain a minute to switch. Once my brain switches into that mode, I try to stay focused until I'm done. But obviously I get to a point where I'm easily distracted with some of these things. By having all this siding done, I won't have to think about it. I won't have to worry about it. And I'll feel good when friends and family come up here to see the place because it's finished. I need to trim that little bit of visible Tyvek off the bottom, but other than that, it's basically finished. Like I said, I'm gonna play around with that Mesmer stain because I think it might look pretty cool to have a sheen on that tin but we'll see. The window's supposed to be here on Monday, then I can finish the backside, but for the most part, everything's tightened up. Now I'm using a 100% silicone that's clear, so it doesn't jump out any more than it has to. But silicone has a shiny texture to it up against this tin. As it ages a little bit, it may not be so obvious, but that's part of the reason I think that rubbing the tin down with some stain, it may not be so noticeable. All 
All right, it is officially bone chilling cold again up here. It was beautiful earlier. As soon as the sun goes down, the temperatures drop. I'm on my way into town right now to pick up uh, the bathtub. Um, now that I'm officially done with everything outside, I'm gonna get uh, the downstairs bathroom framed up, start framing up that utility room, get all the electrical done in that utility room uh and get her, get the last little bit of electrical finished i started on it uh, a day or two ago and um, i stopped because i haven't framed up the walls yet so now that all the siding is officially done there's nothing else for me to do outside i can stop thinking about it and uh, get onto the stuff inside so the next video i put up this week will be all about the uh, layout of the downstairs addition and the rooms downstairs and then we'll get upstairs and finish up the little bit that i have left upstairs so